months of fasting began the evening of Wednesday March 22nd Ramadan is the ninth month of the Islamic calendar this is the holiest month of the Islamic calendar and is observed by all the Muslims worldwide as they fast pray and reflect Sheikh Tayyib Iqbal student Imam of Islamic Society of Mesquite explained to me the historical significance of this month in the Islamic calendar Ramadan is a holy month in our religion uh, during this month, the first verses of our holy book, as known as the Quran, which is our scripture, was revealed to our prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. During this month, Muslims are obligated to restrain from food from sunrise to sundown. Sheikh Tayyip Iqbal believes fasting allows Muslims to gain long-term benefits from their struggles throughout the month. Fasting in this month allows us Muslims to... Uh, purify our souls, increase our relationship with Allah, God, the Almighty, and practice self-discipline, self-restraint. Fasting during Ramadan is one of our five pillars of Islam as well. Muslim students throughout UNT have had to adapt to observing Ramadan on a school campus. Andrew Matthew, who is a convert to the religion of Islam, explains to me the struggle of observing Ramadan as a college student. There's always a challenge with Ramadan, but especially this year, since I'm a freshman living on campus, uh, the dining hall times and the times that I can eat at night don't really correlate. Sometimes the dining hall closes about 20 minutes after we're allowed to eat, so it's been a challenge for that. So I've had to rely on things like the union and uh, eating outside with my friends. Although it has been more of a struggle observing Ramadan as a college student, Andrew also believes up to this point that it has been more fun observing Ramadan in college. Even though there have been challenges with like eating and stuff during Ramadan, I think it's been really rewarding to do Ramadan with our friends, you know, going to the mosque, praying together, talking about things that we're struggling with, and just becoming better Muslims throughout this time. It's really rewarding and it's not an experience that I had when I was at home. Students will continue to observe Ramadan until Thursday, April 20th, and at the end will get to celebrate one of the two biggest Muslim holidays on their calendar, Eid al-Fitr. For NT Daily News, I'm Emran Shibishi.